But when when the when the Islamic uh, warrior Saladin conquered the Crusaders mm-hmm. and took control of Jerusalem, all right, he entered into an agreement that that the, that the Muslims would protect the Christian churches, and so he appointed two Muslim families. Both of these families have been in Jerusalem for uh, you know close to a thousand years. And each generation has passed down the key, the key, right? The the physical key. Mr. Um, Judah said that the key he presently has is 800 years old. Mm. It's incredible. He had another key, but it broke. (laughs) This is a Muslim. I mean, yes, I'd be Judah is, is a Muslim. And he said it's also it's a great honor for a Muslim to hold the key to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, which is the most important church in Christendom. That's not disrespect. That's we, we don't hear this in America. America. We don't hear because what what we have been told is Christians, Christian Americans, and uh, you know you you should hate Muslims. You should kill Muslims because they they're going to tear down all the churches yes. and and. and uh, you know, basically just ransack them and everything else. But here we have two families that for nearly a thousand years have actually been watching over yes. Christian Safeguard. churches. That's right. So who planted into our minds here in America that we should hate and kill Muslims? Who planted that thought in our head? Because it, it came into our society after 9-11. That's correct. So 9-11 was a calculated uh, uh, planned operation, and it changed everything in our country. And so we were saturated with media propaganda, which who owns the media in this country? So we we're saturated with this media propaganda. You Americans, you need to hate Muslims. You need to go to war. You need to send your sons to go kill Muslims. All right. And yet, when you go to the Middle East, you find out that the Muslims, l- like Christians, um, are taking care of Christian churches. Yes. Do not hold animosity against Christians or Americans, uh, uh, except in the case where Americans are pushing for war in their countries or right. trying to take their land. So they've lived together. They've lived together for centuries and centuries. Jews, Christians, and Muslims have lived together for centuries. They were buying and selling. They were trading. They were doing business together. They were building houses next door to each other for centuries. And it didn't change until the Zionists came. Now, see, you say, wait a minute, I thought Zionists are Jews. They are, not, not all Jews are Zionists. And not all Zionists are Jews. Right. Zionism is a political movement. Yes. Right. It's an ideology. Yes. yes. Not an ethnicity. And so when the Zionists came to Jerusalem and, and Palestine, Basically, in the 1920s and 30s and 40s, right, they came to agitate. They came to, to infiltrate. They came to seize control. And so they, they formed uh, paramilitary groups, Ergen. Right, like Ergen. Ergun. And that's where Ariel Sharon and Menachem Beg and these guys were young terrorists. And so there's where the hatred started to come in. The, the fighting, the animosity, the bitterness. But it, 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 it didn't start until the Zionists appeared. Jews, Muslims, and Christians were coexisting. Yes. That's right.